Hi guys, just a quick one, just to let you know that DJI have actually brought out the new uh, assistant software and firmware version for the Phantom. Uh, it was uh, firmware version 3.12, now we've got firmware version 3.14. So uh, if you go onto uh, DJI Innovations website on the NASA M downloads, you'll be able to download the new assistant software as well, which is 2.14. I'll put a link in the description so that'll make that quicker for you to go to and download. If you do go onto your normal NASA assistant, it will tell you that there is an update. Normally you would go on the phantom assistant and uh, it would tell you those updates even though you had the full uh, final updates but just pay attention now there is a new update 2.14 and 3.14 so uh, click the link in the description go to DJI download a new NASA assistant it'll tell you there's a new firmware for 3.14 download that and uh, you have the new version. Uh, what's new about it? Well, there's new optimized compatibility for the new 2D H3 or H3 2D uh, gimbal, so it optimizes that. Uh, also, the calibration of the X1 channel. X1 channel is used to make your uh, gimbal look up and down, so there's a new calibration tool on that under the RC tool tab. And also, uh, it changes the default configuration to X4 instead of plus 4 because sometimes people have their problems when they will do the update. Uh, the X4 would change then to plus 4 and when you tried to fly it would go all over the place and crash so it's good that they've done that and uh, I think it was a long time uh, that that should have been done but anyway that's done now I've just done a quick uh, flight with mine on the new firmware 3.14 it flew okay I didn't put the uh, do a advanced IMU calibration and it is a little bit windy outside so I did shoot a little bit of footage from the uh, Zemu's camera uh, gimbal so I'll just show you that quickly now So as you've seen, the uh, Zemus worked as it should. Uh, I'll just let you know there was a problem with the intelligent orientation control slash home lock uh, that wasn't uh, working. Um, I know some other people have actually had that problem and been complaining about it. But uh, you can get around this by power cycling the uh, Phantom a couple of times. Make sure you take out the USB cable from the Phantom when you do your power cycle, and then you'll notice when you go onto your intelligent orientation control switch uh, that it will actually move on the NAS assistant uh, so if you do have that problem just power cycle the device without the USB in it a couple of times and uh, you should see that working uh, but that's it for now guys I uh, hope this has helped you because uh, I know I had a couple of problems doing the updates but uh, that's it now see you soon